Hey guys, we have two topics for you. We will bring you up to date on both the short-term dimming of KIC 8462852 using Tabby's team's light curve, and we will also bring you up to date on the long-term dimming of Tabby Star using David Lane's latest V-band measurements. So this is the normalized R-band light curve of Tabby Star as of March 30th from Tabby's team, and they have employed four telescopes strategically placed around the globe to better track the gyrations of this star. And this is today's latest measurement from the McDonald Observatory in Texas. And it looks like we are at or slightly below nominal flux. And this is the best fit curve for this normalized light curve. Notice we made two records for the largest dips ever recorded by ground-based telescopes, namely a 3.5% drop on March 19th and a whopping 4.6% drop on March 26th. Some say it might have even gone a little lower, around 5%. But for now, things have stabilized around nominal flux. So now we are going to shift topics and take a look at the long-term dimming of Tabby Star. From now on, we are going to show David Lane's V-band numerical measurements in tabular form as well as graphically. And these are the newest V-band measurements he has taken, which we will now incorporate into the light curve. So for our last update, this was the V-band centered 25-day simple moving average long-term light curve of KIC 8462852 as of March 21st. And as of our last update, we showed that the total flux of the star had dropped 4.23% in two and a quarter years. So let's go ahead now and catch up on what is currently going on with the long-term flux level of Tabby Star over the last week. So let's zoom in on that portion of the curve that is highlighted by the red box and add these two data points to take us up to the present time so that we can see what is happening to the long-term flux curve of Tabby Star. So this is the shape of the light curve that we showed in our last update. And now we will add the newest V-band measurements taken by David Lane. So this is the March 26 data measurement incorporated. And this is the measurement he took on March 27th. And this is the best fit curve for the 25-day centered simple moving average over this portion of the long-term light curve. So let's now zoom back out and update the overall light curve. So as of March 27th, the centered 25 day simple moving average of Tabby Star's flux is now down 4.90% versus 4.23% from our last update last week. Folks, the long term dimming of Tabby Star just keeps getting dimmer and dimmer. Remember, the real and more profound story here is the slow but ever constant ticking down of the long-term flux of Tabby Star, which has a constant bias downwards. Something is accumulating and building up around this star, and it is doing so in a relentless way, and the result has permanence about it. Remember what we have been saying for almost a year now, the long-term dimming is the real story here, and the real prize to those rare individuals that are extremely patient and carefully watching and recording this star's flux long-term. Well, guys, that's all we have for this update. So we will see you in our next video update.